We're counting down the days to Boracay's reopening in October, but just how close to off is close to off? Social media posts by actress Alice Dixon is fanning questions and allegations. Environment and local officials say there's a simple explanation for her access to and presence in Boracay. Shaila Francisco with this report. Over the weekend, actress Alice Dixon posted photos of her 49th birthday in Boracay on Instagram. Based on the video, she was exploring Station 3, where close establishments can be seen from the background. Because of the posts, netizens questioned how she was able to enter Boracay, even though the island is close to tourists for rehabilitation. The Department of Environment and Natural Resources clarifies Dixon was able to enter because she owns a government ID issued by Barangay Yapak. Apart from this, Dixon is wife to the general manager in one of the hotels in the island. An official from Barangay Yapak also explained Dixon is considered a resident of Boracay. So April is nag-apply siya ng resident ID. Tapos inaproba naman ni, ni Punong Barangay dahil uh, may unit owner naman to si Miss Alice dyan sa Buraki Quinson. Ilang years na rin si Alice dito na pabalik-balik. While Dixon didn't have a difficult time entering Boracay, establishments are scrambling to complete their requirements to make sure they can operate when Boracay opens on October 26. The DNR had earlier suspended all environmental compliance certificates. To lift the suspension, establishments need to pass additional documents and get permits before August 15. We need to start from the scratch. There are so many requirements needed. The DNR has set up a one-stop shop with DILG and DOT for faster processing of documents. Meanwhile, Malacanang assured that no casino will be built in Boracay. This comes after reports that Leisure and Resorts World is on track to open its resort casino in Boracay by 2021. I don't think any private entity should test the political will of the president on the issue of casinos in Boracay. The president has said no. And um, I would hope, I would hope they would respect that. Shaila Francisco, we are one news.